what's going on guys Cooper Prime here and welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today today I'm going to tell you guys my story of the young Marines you yeah, know last time I did this I talked about my I guess you could say what what's the word I'm thinking of here I guess you can say my influence or my commitment there we go to the ROTC program that we used to have, and I have not talked about the Marines program we have just yet, so, uh, you guys are gonna get that from me today, so, <clears throat> I have with me my rank insignias, my nickname named name tag, and then I have my ribbon rack, which I just showed to you guys in a YouTube short the other day, thank you guys so much, 51 views on that, absolutely loving it, and, uh, yeah, you guys, you guys know I got my, uh, CPR ribbon, so, really awesome, really nice, uh, I see that. So, oh, and yes, I am wearing, um, uh, yeah, Navy PT gear. You're right, nerds. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so I am currently in the Young Marines, the rank of Staff Sergeant. Now, the reason I have the rank of Staff Sergeant, and yes, this is my first year in the Young Marines, however, the reason I am sta a Staff Sergeant is because of my rank in ROTC last year. Last year in ROTC, I was a Technical Sergeant, which is an E6. E6 in the Marine Corps is, well, I mean, it's a... Staff Sergeant. Hope you guys can see that a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, so Staff Sergeant, three chevrons on top, one rocker on the bottom. Now, of course, I've got, if I can get them, two of these, of course. You know, one on each, you know, collar device. Whatever you want to call them. So, got that. We have the name tag here, which my nickname in the Marines is Nemo. And no, before anybody asks, not from the Disney movie, Finding Nemo. Nowhere close. Uh, my nickname is based off of somebody called Captain Nemo. Look him up. It was a uh, a, B, a Bravo Alpha uh, captain years and years ago. And uh, yeah, this is what the uh, name tags look like. Actually, really, really neat. So happy about it. I'm trying to get it straight for you guys. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, we got that. And, of course, we have the glorious ribbon rack. Oh! So, yeah. I'm actually getting more ribbons. Uh, I'll have five more, which means I'll have one more row and then two on top of this. So, it be very interesting to have more ribbons, boys. Um, I'll go through that. Ribbons in maybe another video depends on how long this video is going to be. So my experience with the young Marines has been absolutely amazing so far um, Our program is a lot different than how a lot of the other young marine programs run um, From what I have seen there's a couple of them that are just a scared straight program which means I Wouldn't say they get bad kids. I'm not just giving cr complete crap to any of the other programs, divisions, anything like that. I'm not. But a lot of them are a scared straight program, which basically means that they they have bad kids and they kind of get on they get them on the right path. Which in some cases is true, in some cases this is not. They do get really good kids. Again, I'm not trying to give crap to any of these other programs. That's I'm just saying. So <clears throat> I am part of I think it's division Four, I believe four or five. There's six divisions. Um, I'll have to look. But we are run completely different. Ours is not a scared straight program. Ours is strictly voluntary. Um, we run it a lot differently with rank wise promotions. Our uh, unit commander is a former lieutenant colonel in the Marine Corps. He's also a Mustang. If you guys know what a Mustang is, it's a person who was enlisted and they went officer, which is really, really neat. Um, very happy to have him. He's a crazy man. Anyway, so me and him have been working very hard alongside our sergeant major. Uh, we call him Top, obviously. And then right now, it's only the first semester. So right now, it's just that this is literally the first class. I am part of the first I guess you would say unit. I don't really... Uh, no, not unit. Battalion, maybe? I, um, what's the word? Um, Company, I guess you would call it. Uh, it's me and 
nine other people. We are the first of this unit, and we wear it proudly. Now, we have four staff sergeants. Yes, you heard me correctly. We have four. And nobody's higher than that right now. Nobody. So it's kind of hard to figure out leadership when top is not there. Very hard to distinguish that. Because a lot of, some of them don't, some, I think I have maybe one or two staff sergeants that maybe, I'm going to say they don't know leadership. It's a little hard for them, though. Um, we do have one corporal who, I'm not actually, I'm actually, I'm not going to say that in case he watches this video. I'm not going to say anything about him. Um, we do have two lance corporals, which is an E3, by the way, corporals at E4. Don't have any sergeants. Uh, which is the E5, by the way. And we have two PFCs. We don't have any privates. Uh, we're working on promoting one PFC at the moment. Anyway. <clears throat> but we all work together as one unit. We are getting color guards back together. We're getting a rifle team started. And we're doing a drill team. Very, very awesome. I love the people there. It's, it's a family. It really is. You build relationships with these people. And it's honestly one of the best programs I think I've ever been a part of. Don't get me wrong. I loved ROTC. The only reason I did not like it, I don't, I don't like it as much as I like the Young Marines, is because ROTC with us, at least our program, we were constantly, like, I guess you could say under the gun. Like, if we would screw up, like, we would get just... It was bad. Like... They did everything they could to shut us down, and they eventually, they eventually got to us. Not the Air Force, our school did. But, um, yeah, it is what it is, but honestly, I think it kind of worked out for the better for a lot of us. Only because we do get a little bit more experience out of this. Uh, we are planning to send three Marines to a Marine JROTC drill camp pretty soon, coming up in July. That'll be uh, July next year, actually. So that'll be very, very awesome to see who will go and uh, who will stay. Uh, with leadership, us, first semester, we're going to be leadership. We will be distinguished by wearing bright red shirts with the Semper Fidelis or Semper Fi uh, patch on the um, chest, or I guess you say the breast, technically. So, yeah, and then our Marines coming in, anybody who's not leadership will, will be wearing, like, an army green, but it has the Semper Fi breast patch as well. Still gold, like on the red shirt, except the shirt is an army green color. So that's how we will be distinguished from all of the other um, <clears throat> people in our companies, whoever is a company leader, company commander, whoever you want to put it. Uh, be very very interesting to see what happens. Um, so, on to ribbons. So, oh boy, I've been recording for eh, not that long. Anyway, so on to ribbons. You can earn a ton of ribbons in this program, and yes, you can earn about maybe I think it was like fifty ribbons in ROTC. Granted, you can't earn that many, I don't think, but you can earn a lot of ribbons. There is a ribbon called the Young Marine of the Year. Which is very cool. They all divisions come together. They have a young marine of the year from each division, and then they have a national one. I believe that's how that works. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm not too sure. Um, there's a color guard ribbon, which if you guys don't know what color guard is, it's when you have two riflemen outside of flags. You have flag people in the middle. One will be carrying. Typically, there's always one carrying the United States flag. One will be either carrying a state, and then the ne one next to it will either be carrying a state flag or the flag of whatever branch they're in, or both. Um, I know, I think in the actual military, I think it's just the uh, marine or the military flag. But yeah, so base four to five man color guard, maybe a six man color guard, give or take depends on what you want to do now as you guys know i actually have a cpr ribbon this is a ribbon you can earn along with a basic and advanced first aid ribbon i am down for the basic first aid ribbon i do not know als i do not know any of that i know basic life support not advanced uh, do plan on maybe fixing that soon but that is the only ribbon 
I have from the Young Marines. All of these other ribbons are from ROTC, from the star all the way down. So, yeah, from this one all the way down to the rest of these. So, yeah, pretty neat. Uh, I'll have 14 ribbons before the end of the semester, which will be very, very nice. Um, Ranking-wise, we're still trying to figure that out. I think I have figured out the ranking situation for this semester, so hopefully me and my unit commander can sit down on Monday. By the way, I'm recording this on... I'm recording this on a Tuesday. No, not a Tuesday. I'm so stupid. I'm recording this on a really, really early Saturday morning. Like it is currently 12:20 in the morning. So yeah, I'm I'm up pretty late. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bed anytime soon, boys. But uh, your your boys hanging in there. I promise. I'm up. I'm staying up making these videos for you guys. But now, once my uniform gets in, I will be doing a video on the Young Marines uniform. Um, I should be getting my uniform back Monday as I'm recording this. It's a Saturday, so two more days till I get uniforms back. Because we take them. I think after we wear them twice, we take them to go get pressed and cleaned. So, if that's just in case some of us can't do it at home. Or some people can't afford dry cleaning, we do all that. Our uh, unit commander covers all that for us. He's a really, really awesome guy. I cannot talk good about this man enough like he is absolutely amazing um <clears throat> our nicknames as you guys know nemo again captain nemo not from the movie finding nemo no um we earned our nicknames by how we act and our personality part of the reason my name is nemo i'll give you guys a little backstory my original name in the young marines was navy because my father, if you guys do not know, is a retired chief petty officer in the Navy. Served for 21 years. Absolutely proud of what my dad has done. Now, <clears throat> because of this, and of course my unit commander being a Marine, they give each other just complete crap, man. Like, it's absolutely hilarious. Now, <clears throat> the reason my nickname was Navy was because just I was in the Navy, and I still am. I actually plan, your boy plans on going into the Navy after high school boys so that'll be very very interesting i, I still gotta talk to some critters i'm taking the ass fab this year hopefully i score good wish me luck on that guys i'll let you guys know what i score when we take the test anyway <coughs> excuse me sorry guys anyway and then i'm not gonna say what my loot what my unit commander called me it's not bad at all but out of respect for my father, I'm not going to say what he called me, but <laughs> let's just say if you guys are a Marine or you guys are from the Navy, you guys have a Marine Corps or Navy family, you guys know what the Marines call the Navy and what the Navy calls Marines. You guys know where I'm coming from. Anyway, that didn't work, so he came up with the name Nemo, which... I cannot lie to you guys, I was not fond at first, because my mind went straight to the Disney movie, Finding Nemo. I cannot tell you guys how mad I was. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, is this a joke? Am I a joke to you? Later on, I figured out what it actually meant, and I'm actually proud to have that nickname. Very, very awesome. Um, but I think... I've pretty much covered everything in this video. Now, there are a lot of things from the Young Marines program that you guys see and you guys know that we don't do or have. Um, that's definitely something we have to work on right now. We only have the battle dress uniform or the BDUs, which is the uh, camouflage uniforms. We don't have any. We don't. None of us have like the service uniforms, Class A, Class B, or Class C. So, none of us have any of that. We don't have anybody fitted for them. We have not done that yet. Again, this program is still new. We just got to go in this year. So, but so far, it's been an amazing experience, and I highly recommend joining the Young Marines program. Very, very awesome. You get to go to leadership schools, which I've never been to, but from talking to other people in the program, they say it is very, very good. So, yeah, I think that's going to be about it for today's episode. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I've been recording for about 15 minutes. So, yeah, I think I'm done 
blabbering off now. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully you guys have a very safe, blessed day. Thank you guys for listening to me talk for the past 15 minutes. And, um, yeah, hopefully next time I do a video like this, I will have my uniform. So hopefully you guys get to see that anyway. See you guys next time. Peace out. Y'all, you guys have a fantastic weekend. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace.